How to get rid of spiders in the house. Most spiders prefer living outdoors, but all too often, you may run across a few spiders that have found their way indoors in search of food or shelter. Getting rid of these pests is most easily accomplished by keeping them out, but after they get inside, there are a variety of proven and unproven remedies you can use to scare them off or kill them. This video will offer a few common pest control methods to use against spiders the next time they infest your house. Welcome to TheGuardiansChoice.com This video will tell you how to keep spiders out of your home, verified pest control methods, and folk remedies. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1. Keep spiders out of your home. Number 1. Seal up your home. Patch up cracks and holes leading from the outside in to prevent spiders from finding their way indoors. Use cork to fill in large gaps of space in closed doors and windows. Also apply cork around wires, cables, faucets, and electrical components, since all of these must run to the outside. Replace or fix torn window screens. Spiders can easily find their way in through even the smallest holes. Cover your vents and chimney with fine mesh insect screens. Number 2. Keep your outdoor lights off. While outdoor lights will not attract spiders, they will attract other pests that can serve as appetizing food sources for spiders. On a similar note, block indoor lights from shining through your windows by using opaque blinds or shades. Consider switching to yellow sodium vapor lights. These are less appealing to insects and less likely to draw in a food source for your spiders. In low numbers, non-aggressive spiders can actually be beneficial because they catch biting, damaging insects in their webs. Number 3. Remove vegetation away from the perimeter of your house. If you have a serious spider problem, consider transplanting shrubs, trees, ivy, and other plants from the perimeter of your house to the opposite side of the yard. Vegetation attracts spiders because it serves as an ample hiding spot. When spiders need to seek out warmth or new food sources, they crawl from the vegetation toward your home, getting in through cracks. You should also remove mulch, stones, leaves, or other debris near your home. Number 4. Keep a tidy house. Clean homes give spiders fewer places to hide out in, making them less likely to stay even if they do slip inside. Do not leave leftover food lying around. Food crumbs will attract other pests like ants, which, in turn, will attract spiders. Regularly sweep and vacuum your floors. Wipe down your counters and tables, and avoid letting your dirty dishes sit out for more than a few hours. Pick up as much clutter as possible. Old newspapers and piles of dirty clothes make the ideal hiding place for spider species that thrive in darkness. Use plastic storage containers. Airtight plastic containers are difficult for spiders to crawl into, but cardboard boxes are fairly easy. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Verified Pest Control Methods. Number 1. Vacuum Spiders and Spider Webs. One of the simplest methods for getting rid of spiders is vacuuming up egg sacs and webs as you run across them. This method works best when trying to get rid of a few spiders. It may not be very efficient if you have a large spider population living in your home, however. You can also use a broom to sweep away webs. Rather than killing spiders, you should transport them outside if possible. Spiders are a species that is very beneficial to humans, and they're rather noble once you understand them. Web-building spiders that spend most of their time along the ceiling are not likely to fall victim to the glue trap, but these are very effective against ground-dwelling spiders like jumping spiders and house spiders. Keep the trap flat to prevent it from curling up into itself. Discard the trap as soon as you collect a few spiders on it. 
Note that this is ineffective against spider eggs and webs, so you will likely need to use this method in conjunction with other techniques. Number 2. Apply a residual insecticide. Spiders are attracted to places where there are other bugs for them to hunt, so you should apply a residual pesticides to get rid of those bugs. Look for a pesticide that is safe to use indoors, and then spray it around your home. Make sure to apply the insecticide in corners and other hard-to-reach places, which is where bugs will likely be found. Carefully follow the instructions marked on the label to prevent the accidental poisoning of yourself, a family member, or a pet. Understand the limit of residual insecticides. These poisons only work if spiders drag themselves through the chemical after it is sprayed. If a spider manages to avoid the spray, the insecticide will have no effect on it. Number 3. Call a professional exterminator. If you have a large spider infestation and measures you take yourself are unable to control the problem, a professional might be able to apply a stronger chemical pesticide. Be aware that some professional pesticides are so strong that you will need to vacate the premises for several days while the effect dies down. In general, the repellents or transporting a spider are better options for everyone than squishing the little bugger. If you can handle it, picking up a spider and moving it to your porch with a paper towel or jar will save you from meeting a few bugs. However, if you're only worried about two or three spiders, taking a broom and gently sweeping them out of your house will usually get the job done. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Folk Remedies Number 1. Deter Spiders with Horse Chestnuts Place a few horse chestnuts in each corner of the house and in any area of the house where you frequently run across spiders. Chestnuts, walnuts, and the fruit of the Osage orange tree are thought to have the same effect. Little is known about why this treatment repels spiders, and there is no scientific evidence or explanation backing the solution. Some speculate that horse chestnuts have some form of noxious chemical that repels spiders based on scent. To this end, consider poking holes in the chestnut or splitting it in half to release the odor. Number 2. Spray your house down with peppermint oil. Fill a standard spray bottle with water and mix in 15 to 20 drops of peppermint oil. Spray down all the cracks and corners of your house. The idea is that spiders cannot tolerate the smell of peppermint oil and will run away in the opposite direction when they detect it. As a result, it is most effective when applied to possible entrances to the home. For a more potent effect, you can dab undiluted peppermint oil onto a cotton ball and stuff the cotton ball into cracks or other possible hiding places. Try eucalyptus oil or tea tree oil if you have a thing against peppermint. They reportedly have the same effect as peppermint oil and can be used in the same way. Number 3. Spread diatomaceous earth around. Scatter a fine layer of this powder around cracks, corners, windows, and basements. Spread it anywhere and everywhere you expect a spider to be. This powder is made from naturally formed fossils of a water creature known as the diatom. It is safe for both people and pets. When a spider crosses over the diatomaceous earth, its exterior gets cut up, causing bodily fluids to leak out. The spider eventually dries out and dies as a result. You can also protect your home and prevent spiders from crawling in by spreading diatomaceous earth around the perimeter of your house. Number 4. Attack spiders with vinegar. Mix equal parts white vinegar and water in a spray bottle. Apply it to any area in which spiders gather and spray it directly on any spider you see. Vinegar contains acetic acid, which is thought to burn and kill spiders upon contact. You can also place small dishes of vinegar in dark corners to ward away spiders. The odor alone may be enough to repel them. Tips. 1. If you don't want to use vinegar, lemon and eucalyptus scents can also help with a spider problem. 2. Fill a spray bottle with peppermint essential oil and spray it all around your home. 3. Spiders hate tobacco and lemon, so if situations are getting worse, 
You can sprinkle tobacco soaked in water or lemon juice to keep them away. 4. If you love animals, consider getting a cat. Cats are hunters by nature, and many domestic felines turn their instincts on small vermin, insects, and spiders that find their way indoors. Note that this is not a wise move if you are dealing with highly poisonous spiders, though. 5. Eucalyptus branches from a craft store, the really aromatic ones placed under furniture really help repel spiders and other pests. 6. You can also use baking soda. Sprinkle some into corners, on window sills, on carpets, etc., and vacuum it up after letting it sit overnight. 7. Keep a pet frog. Most spiders are vulnerable to frogs. The frog will eat the spiders and also the insects that can attract spiders to come. 8. In winter, spiders are more likely to invade your home, so in winter clean your house very well once or twice a week. 9. Remember that spiders, although scary, are actually quite docile and as long as you do not disturb them, they will not disturb you. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.